So I know everybody thinks that TikTok is mainly for young kids dancing and all that. That's what I thought until recently when I created one. Um, it's fun. I'm kind of addicted to it. But <laughs> let me show you guys some tips on how to grow. Like I'm new on TikTok, but I feel like my little tips that I've been doing it made me grow so much. I got it pretty like a girl. And he got five stories to tell. See both sides like the girl. See <sighs> Let's just jump into this tutorial. So the first one is going to be consistency. I know in every tutorial, everyone says consistency is the key, but it is, you have to be consistent. Now, with TikTok, it's a little bit different. I post three videos a day. Let me explain this to you, because it sounds like a lot. And it's not about you creating new content. I recycle my old content. So let me explain it. <laughs> let me explain this. So... I do have a lot of content on Instagram and YouTube so I kind of recycled those and then like for instance one video I did post and then if it does good in the algorithms or the for you page I will repost that same video about three more times so just like on Instagram hashtag is very important hashtag in the description is very important with your post same with TikTok so but TikTok's a little I keep on saying it's a little different but same with TikTok so with TikTok, tags, description is really good, but also a sound. So let's just break down the hashtags. So the hashtags I usually do are whatever's in the, my niche, whatever I posted, right? So for instance, um, this video I'm going to post is about my new video on YouTube. I'll put, you know, content creator, YouTuber, all those little hashtags. And also... When you upload on TikTok, it shows you the top ranking of the hashtag. So sometimes I'll probably just push one of those just to see if it gives me even more more views. So you only can use, I believe, under 100, 100 characters, I believe. I'm, don't quote me, guys. So for my description, I will only do like probably like, not even since it's like something that's going on in the video. Like for instance, I'm... Just a new upload and subscribe or you know or tell them where to go and then just after the rest with hashtags now this is the most important with uploading on tiktok and which is the sound so you want the song to, to play in the background or whatever you want the most popular song now my good my rule of thumb is if it has two thousand if it has 2,000 and above, I like to use those sounds because it's very popular. So each of those three posts that I tell you I post a day, I will change the sound for each one. And then sometimes one do better than the other, but some really does really well. Like, for instance, the other day I posted three of the same videos from my my mini docu-series. If you guys haven't seen that, go guys, check it out. It was lit. <laughs> so I posted the same thing. I did three different sounds for each one and one of the, my videos got 40,000 views and the other one got about 15. And so with all those views that I got, the 40,000, 20,000 views, I have so many new subscribers from that as well. So, what keeps calling them subscribers? So I got so much new people following me. So right now I'm about what, at 3,000 now? I'm so happy. Guys, go follow me on TikTok. <laughs> now, let's see. I have notes on my phone, so I want, um, I want to stay on topic. So now let's go to the second tip, is, and it is what to post. Like, what is your niche? Now, with me personally, I post literally everything. I don't have just one particular niche. And I mainly post, like, out of the days, like what I'm wearing that day, or little clips from my YouTube channel. Just to get people to follow me on YouTube or any or on Instagram. So that's basically literally what I post. And what I'm doing is working. But if you guys want to do the dance moves, remember the moves and all that, go for it. Those videos do really well. I like my content because I'm sticking to what I know, um, what, what I'm comfortable with, and all that. Like the dance moves are the dancing is really cute, but <laughs> I probably should have tried one out. But other than that. That's all I post, guys. It's literally all I post on TikTok. My last and final tip is going live. But on TikTok, you cannot go live until you hit 1,000 subscribers. And also, one more thing. When you hit 10,000 subscribers... So why keep calling them subscribers? Can I call them subscribers? I think that's fine. <laughs> I just answered my own question. So anyway, so... 
when you hit 10,000, that's when you can get monetized. You can start getting paid. But, you know, anyway, remember that, guys. So, <laughs> it's a little benefit for having TikTok. So, once you hit, when you get enough people to go live, their live is totally different from Instagram or Facebook. Their lives are different. So, on Instagram, you need only your people can really watch your lives, I think, right? But on TikTok, they don't have to follow you to be on your live. For instance, like if you, they can just scroll on your for you page and then your live can pop up and they can just join. So you can get so many new followers from that. Like I just got off a live today and I'm getting 50 followers from today. I'm so excited. And also, when you go live, they can see you tips. So that's another benefit of having TikTok. Back to the live. So on the live, you can just do whatever, do whatever you want. People can just join it because just follow you if they want. And that's another way to grow on TikTok faster and also get monetized quickly. One more thing I want to say about the live. So when you are eligible to go on live, when you go on the plus button and scroll all the way over to live, it tells you a number. And that tells you how many people are available. Well, not available. That tells you how many people are active right now. So that's also give you a perfect time to post your content too as well. I am fairly new to TikTok, but all my little tips and everything I've been doing has been working. I have been growing consistently. Literally every day I have new subscribers coming and I'm so grateful. So I know my tips are not that much but I'm still new to TikTok so once I grow I'm gonna pull you guys up with me and teach you everything that I know so I hope you guys enjoy this video and don't forget to like comment and subscribe